good evening here the topic we are going to see is like chip level and system level test techniques it is comes under the topic of vlsi testing here the chip level testing is which has been foc it is focuses on uh, individual integrated uh, circuits that is ics or chips it also ensures that each chip um, functions correctly before it is been assumed as uh, sorry assembled into onto a pcb board that is also called as a printed circuit board here the objective of this one is which is uh, it is also to detect the manufacturing defects in an individual chips and it verifies the functionality performance and reliability of uh, each ics it also ensures that the chip meets its design specification the methods is design for testability the design for testability that is dft is a technique used in vlsi design to make it easier to test the uh, digital circuits uh, during manufacturing and debugging here in this techniques to make the individual chips easier to test by improving the controllability and observability of internal nodes here the controllability test points are internal points where the test signal can be applied to um, control the specific nodes within the circuit observability test points are like um, the internal points where signal states it can be observed or measured here the scan design is this method is used to test the sequential circuits by converting them into a form that it which is been allowed easy application of test vectors it is particularly effective for testing the flip flops and other sequential elements here it contains like normal mode and test mode in this normal mode the, the um, select signal is uh, set to allow uh, uh, normal system data to pass through the multiplexes to the registers the circuit operates as a uh, standard sequential circuit the test mode is like the, it is also called as a scan mode the uh, select signal is set to uh, switch the multiplexes to the scan input path the test data is shifted through the chain of registers the final output is observed at the scan output out pin the blist is like built in self test in built in self test it is a design technique which allows a circuit to test itself this test uh, self testing capability is integrated into the chip enabling it to uh, generate the test patterns and verify its own operation here the blist is like a built in self test is a crucial for improving the fault coverage and reducing the need for external test equipments here the key components of blist is like test pattern generator which generates the test patterns to be applied to the uh, circuit under test the output response analyzer is like it which has been analyzes the uh, output response of the circuit to determine if it is functioning correctly the blist control unit is uh, it coordinates the operation of the tpg or ora uh, managing the test process ad hoc testing is like key points is the, what is the purpose and method and the benefits here it uh, enhances the testability of uh, complex chip areas the method is which is introduce the uh, specific test circuitry to uh, critical sections the benefit is like it also improves the fault detection and simplifies the testing process ad hoc techniques in dft or customized uh, enhancement which is made to uh, target the specific hard to test areas of the of the thing and these techniques are applied to the case by case basics to improve the controllability and observability of certain internal nodes making it easier to test and verify their functionality here the system level testing is it involves the testing the uh, complete system which includes the multiple interconnected chips pcbs and other components it ensures that the uh, entire system operates correctly and reliable reliably as a whole the objective is which detects the integration and interaction issues between components it verifies that the entire system performs correctly under various conditions it also ensures the system level reliability and functionality it including the proper communication between chips and handling of system level faults 
here the method is in circuit testing and the boundary scan and how it works the testing process and all it is there in this slide here the system level operation is the fault occurring system uh, during system operation and reliability uh, time and failure rate and sum of individual component the system level operation has been shown here and the test generation thank you